Good morning. Another beautiful morning. <clears throat> Excuse me. Another day to be more than what we were yesterday. More in the sense that we have a, another opportunity to help another soul or many souls. Today I woke with the word that when it, when it came through, it was like, yeah, it felt right. Balance was the word that came through. And I sat on that word for a little bit before I actually got myself up and out. Um, balance. And then I started to think, how would this fit? How can I, how can I use this word and, and, and find something to bring out? And then as I'm sitting here, getting things a little prepared for um, a talk, I'm looking at my figures. And my figures are about balance. My perspective of what I see. And it's even with the stones that you see, it's balance. And so we are in a time where it seems there are a lot of souls out there that are very much off balance. And there are a lot of folks who are now finding themselves going to the TV for the latest of updates is what's happening. How many people, what are the numbers on this, this pandemic that's reached the whole world? And fear has crept into the souls of these folks. And it, it's, it's something that you may not even realize happening. But it happens. And with that, we have to find a balance. A balance of finding your peace within you. Whether it's finding your peace outdoors in nature, finding a spot where you can go and just listen to the wind, make its sounds through the trees. I posted a picture the other day of a pine tree. And as I was underneath this pine tree, the wind blew and it was singing a song to just reached my soul and my heart. Oh my gosh, it just, it affected me in a very positive way. And it made me sit back and think, how simple was that? And I was around people that they didn't even notice. And it's not to say anything outside of it, just becoming aware of what's around us and, and listening. And I'm going to get to this moment here or this thought in a second about becoming aware of what is around you. For most, we go through this, this, our lives with this, I've got to do this, I got to do that. And we lose track of everything else around us. I see people walking and all they see is what's in front of them. Um, I'm, I'm a person that my walk is not like everyone else's and it's, yeah, everybody has a different walk, but I walk with a, uh, a prosthetic limb. And so I have to not only walk watching where I'm going, but I also, I'm attuned to what is around me. And I consider my walks almost a walking meditation because I've, I've learned to practice looking and seeking out things that are just different. And for most people, they see the photos that I take and it's like, I, I've never been there. And they have, they've walked right past it because all of what I do is really within a mile. So the point is, is becoming aware and finding a balance in your own life. No one can do this for you. Only you can do this because for each it's different. And when you find your balance, you'll be able to deal with life in a much uh, different space. 
you won't find a craving to find what is the latest in the politics, what is the latest in the, the Hollywood happenings, what is the latest in this virus. You will you will be curious enough just to get all it, the, the little bit that it takes to know, and then the rest you'll go. Uh, it has no. It, it, I don't want it to have an effect on me, and so the more you become in tuned with yourself and find your balance, the less you will be worried about things that you no longer can control. And so for me, the balance comes in taking time every day for a walk, which is a physical uh, part of my day. Um, And then quieting my soul and seeking out things of beauty. And again, that's for everyone is different. What they what they see, what they feel as beauty is different for each. And then I go about my work day. And so I find a balance in all which I do. But the biggest part of my balance and the biggest joy that I get is sharing time with people, and sharing thoughts, listening to people. But it's all balance. And so too much of one, too much of the other. You know, you, you just, you have to fine tune your life. There was something I was reading the other day about the dark and the light. You know, you, you have to have both. And we have to exist in a world where there's darkness. But we also need to be the light. And there's the balance. And so we all go through moments where we feel a darkness creep in, but we need to be aware of when this sensation comes through. And then you just turn your light on brighter. How? It's through your words. And for most uh, there's this, well, what is it they say that you know, what you eat is what you are. And it's the same with what we take in, what we visually take in, what we verbally hear. We have to guard in the sense that we have to protect what we put into our body. Because it is true, what you put in is what you're going to get out. So if you consume negative thoughts, you consume negative TV, if you consume negative people, eventually this will capture you, unless you're aware and you're able to block and shield yourself from this. And it's the same with food. If you, if you put bad things in, you are going to feel the effects. So balance. Finding your balance should be a mission that everyone takes um, seriously, especially now. Always, but there, we're in a peculiar time right now where the world is in a shift. We, uh, the other uh, video I did last, transitioning, we're in a moment of transition. And so there are a lot of folks that are feeling confused, almost lost, as if they know there's something, they're missing something in life. And for a lot of people, this is the beginning of you awakening to who you truly are, is when you have lived a life and all of a sudden it doesn't feel right. There's something wrong. There's something missing. This is the beginning stages. So again, finding your balance, taking time to get out. Look for answers that you're asking for, but don't look for them in the conventional way. Look for them in the way of nature. So hopefully this might reach somebody, I don't know. I no longer, I, I there for a little bit, I was, I, I was, my ego was like, I shouldn't do this. But now I'm just like, well, if this has a positive effect on one person, I'm good. And if it does, you can find me on um, Facebook, Nicholas Gallardo. I don't do a whole lot there anymore. Um, Instagram mostly. The Power of Love Heals is my handle there. And my YouTube channel is Power of Love Heals. 
So with that, be well, be love always. And until next time, stay awesome.